All right, what's up, guys? So I'm not going to spend too much time talking on this because this is just silly, all right? But, um, yeah, I don't know who Pro Wrestling Dome is, but, yeah, it's just one of those. It's one of those people in the wrestling community where it's like, fam, don't be a wrestling fan, all right? There's all these people. Let's. My thing is, is this. If you think that she's overrated, then you show us how a wrestler should wrestle. You show us how, because I feel like they're one of those people where they're going to criticize. Somebody could go out there and put on a five-star match, prove everybody wrong. Yeah, let's say it is that wrestler where everybody, yeah, Naomi for an example. Let's say everybody thinks along the lines that she's overrated. She could put on a five-star match and people will still find everything. Oh, she didn't do this move the right way. Oh, she didn't do this she didn't do that or she did and i'm like fam just let this woman do what she wants to do be who she wants to be it does not affect you at any given point in time but no there are just people in the wrestling community where it's like fam your opinion shouldn't even matter like bro keep keep that to yourself but no, nah, I, I saw this and I was all like, yeah, it, it's just she. My thing is this. If that is the case, most people would be thinking the same way. They don't. That's why when I saw this, everybody was literally going against what this guy said, right? But if that was the case that she was overrated, why did she come back to WWE? You know, it's like, why why did they give her the green light, like, saying, like, oh, yeah, you're um hired again, whatever the situation or the conversation was and stuff. But my thing is this. Most everybody will be thinking this, right? She came back. So, obviously, WWE was all like, hey, there's still some, uh you know, stories that we got to tell with Naomi and stuff. But, yeah, I just think that it's silly when people, when they come out and they say stuff like this, and it's like, there's no reason for it. You know, if you don't like Naomi, just say that. But it's like, we don't need to know of that information. You very well could keep that stuff to yourself. So, yeah, that's why I'm like, whoever this person is, I'm like, <laughs> enjoy enjoy the 15 minutes of fame that you got. But, I, and that's another thing. I honestly think nowadays, people when even just outside of wrestling but just when they say something and they know it's going to get a negative reaction i honestly feel people they just be they doing that because they're all like oh i know people are gonna feel a certain way about it so let me just go ahead and make everybody upset make some tweet that's just pointless and stuff and i'm like yeah bro to any and everybody out there that saw this tweet don't even let it get to you you see any other tweets like this don't let it get to you ignore it overall Stuff like this, I'm, I guarantee and I promise you, we start ignoring this stuff, people are ain't even going to be wanting to go out and say their opinion about whatever it is that they got an opinion on. Because it's dumb. It's stupid. I'm like, you go out there and put on a five-star wrestling match. You go out there and cut a promo. You go out there and do some stuff. If not, then I'm like, bruh, opinions like this... It ain't gonna be a fact, all right? It's like, I know, yeah, they did say in their opinion and stuff. And yes, at the end of the day, you are entitled to your opinion. But if it's gonna be putting down somebody, then I'm like, bro, get, no go on somewhere with that all right so but anyways with that being said yeah ain't, ain't no naomi disrespect ain't gonna be tolerated in the wrestling community all right so if you don't like naomi that is on you all right so but anyways with that being said i will talk to y'all later thank you guys for watching like subscribe if you're new to the channel and peace